All right, so the Wimbledon draw has just come out, and we've got the men's draw, or the gentlemen's draw, if we want to go by Wimbledon uh, terminology. And there are some absolutely crazy matchups in the first and second rounds, potentially. But let's go to the players who are not playing, because there are massive names that are not playing Wimbledon this year. All right, so here is the withdrawal list. As of now, we've got Rafa Nadal. He's not playing. Draper, also not playing. Marin Cilic has also pulled out. Krina Busta has also pulled out. Hashinov, the highest ranked player in the current rankings, he's pulled out. Monfils is also out, and Struff is also out of Wimbledon this year. So here it is. Here is the draw for Wimbledon. You might need to, like, you know, get a magnifying glass. Uh, 32 seeds in this one. And, of course, Alcaraz, number one seed. He got that last week by winning in Queen's Club. He takes on Shardy in the first round. A winner of that will take on either Muller or Rindanish in the second round. Then you've got Kubla taking on Umber. Winner of that will take on either Cecchinato or Jarry, the 25 seed in the second round. Then you've got the 19 seed Zverev taking on Brewer. The uh, qualifier, winner of that will take on either Huzla or Watanuki, uh, the lucky loser. Then you got Berrettini taking on Sinego, winner of that will take on either Copper Yans, the qualifier, or the 15 seed, Diminor. So this section already, straight away, very tough. I mean, Alcaraz, Verev, uh, Diminor, all capable on grass. Jerry's been good this year. Uh, not just on, on clay. Berrettini's a former finalist. Umber can play on grass. Uh, Rindanish nearly beat Alcaraz last week. I mean, Sinego as well. I mean, this is an absolute nightmare section for Carlos Alcaraz. Just killers from the get-go. Then we've got the next section. We've got Tiafo, the number 10 seed, taking on Wu in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Stricker or Poprin in the second round. Then you've got Avashka taking on Coria. Winner of that will take on either Shuma Bukuro, the number 21 seed, Dimitrov, in the second round. Then you've got 31 seed, Fakina, taking on Feast. That's a very fun first-round matchup. Uh, could be five sets and a lot of a uh, lot of fun shots. Winner of that will take on either Song or Van Azantrup in the second round. Uh, then you've got Anaudi taking on Bayana. Winner of that will take on either Lofhagen, the wild card, the number six seed, Runa, in the second round. So, look, uh, Runa's got to like this draw. You know, a, a low-ranked wild card in the first round, a couple of clay quarters around, a couple of baseline grinders around. I think Runa will like his chances. Uh, maybe play Tiafo in that third, uh, fourth round. Uh, if he, you know, based on the form, I guess. And of course, the winner of this section will take on the Alcaraz section. So we could be getting Alcaraz versus Runa. We could be getting Alcaraz versus Tiafo. Or we could be getting Zverev. If you want to go by his form at the French Open, Zverev versus Runa. Zverev versus Tiafo. This is a very interesting section of the draw. And there could be a lot of different names coming out of it. All right, next section of the draw, we've got Medvedev, the number three seed, taking on the wild card Ferry. First round winner of that will take on either Manorino or Chenko in the second round. Then you got Giron taking on Dillian. Winner of that will take on either Fuchovic. 28 seed Greek Spore in the second round. Then you've got number 18 seed Sarundalo taking on Borges. Now that will take on either Lehechka or Ovna in the second round. Then you've got Rayonis taking on Novak. Winner of that will take on either Mutsuzuki, or the number 16 seed Paul in the second round. Well, Medvedev's draw is manageable. I mean, Manorino in the second round is a nightmare for Medi because they recently played, or at least Manorino has beaten some big boys lately. Greek Spore is no joke in a third round, but. You know, I think Medi, Medi's probably going to like this. Next section of the draw, you got the number 12 seed, Nori. He'll take on a Mahatch in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Eubanks or Montero in the second round. Then we've got O'Connell taking on Medjedovic. Qualifier, winner of that will take on either Vesely or Korda. The number 22 seed, Korda. Very, very fun matchup there with Vesely Korda. That's a lot of aces and probably about four tie breaks. So that's an absolute banger, that one. Uh, then you got Shelton at 32 seed, who just snuck in because of Struff pulling out. Uh, he plays Daniel in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Cressy or Jera. Then you got Peniston taking on Murray. Winner of that will take on either Dominic Team or the number five seed, Stefanos Pass. What a wild group of names. Murray, Team, Pass, all in the same section, all in this, like with, next to each other. I mean, that's just mad. And then Shelton is also there and Cressy as well. And of course, this section will take on the Medvedev section in the quarterfinals. So if we go by the seeds, it's going to be Medvedev versus City Pass, which we always love to see, but I don't think we're going to get that. We might get Medvedev, but I don't know if Steph's going to make it that far. It could be Medvedev versus Murray. For all the Murray fans out there, give you guys some, uh, give you guys something to cheer about. Maybe even Medvedev versus Korda, which is a rematch of what happened in Australia. Of course, Korda beating Medvedev back then. Next section of the draw, we've got Sinner. The number eight seed taking on Sarundalo. Winner of that will take on either Kichmenovic or Schwartzman. Second round, then you've got Vukic taking on Altmaier. Winner of that will take on either Hellas or the 27th seed Evans in the second round. Then you've got the 24th seed, Nishioka, taking on Gallen. Winner of that will take on either Kopfa or Otta in the second round. Then you've got Ema taking on Molchan. Winner of that will take on either Hanfman, the 9th seed, Fritz. Now, Hanfman just beat Sidzi Pass. Fritz hasn't been in good form, so that is not a good first round. 
for Taylor Fritz, who made the quarterfinals here last year, nearly beating Rafa Nadal. Um, Sinner's got a nice draw. There's not too many big bads in there, except for maybe Hanfman or Fritz. But other than that, Sinner's got a nice draw. Then you got Choris, number 13 seed, taking on Pella. Winner of that will take on either Bonzi or Mayotte, the qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Matei taking on Gasquet. Winner of that will take on either Safiulin or the 20th seed, Batista Agu. Then you got the 26th seed, Shapovalov, taking on Elbot. Winner of that will take on either Harris or Barrer in the second round. Then we've got Brody taking on Lestian. Winner of that will take on the qualifier, Lacoli, or the number four seed, Casper Rude. And look, if Rude could play on grass, you'd say Rude's got a very, very nice draw. But unfortunately, we don't know if he can play on grass. Well, he can, but he hasn't proven that he wants to play on grass. So, I mean, look, Rude, is he going to get through? I mean, he's got a nice draw. Shapovalov, most likely, I guess. Um, Chorich can play on grass. He won Heller before. RBA is proven on grass. He beat Medvedev last week. Uh, and this section, of course, will take on the Sinner section. And again, like I said, Sinner's got a nice draw. If we're going to go by seeds, it's going to be Sinner versus Rude. If we're going to go by reality, it's probably going to be Sinner versus Chapo or Sinner versus Chorich, uh, or maybe even Sinner versus an unseeded player. I mean, that's what we could get. And like I said, Sinner has probably the best draw out of the bunch. Bottom section of the draw now, we've got Rublev, the number seven seed, taken on Purcell. Winner of that will take on either Van Aish or Karatsev in the second round. Then you've got Baez taking on Vera. Winner of that will take on either Goffin or the number 30 seed, Kyrgios. That is a five-set epic, and I don't know if Kyrgios is going to beat Goffin. He's a brick wall. And Kyrgios is not 100%. So that is a nightmare. Then you've got Bublik, number 23 seed. He takes on McDonald in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Wolf or uh, Kuko in the second round. Uh, then you've got Matera, uh, Matera versus Goyo. Winner of that will take on either Krajinovic or the number 11 seed, Felix Ogier Eliasim. Look, Rublev's draw is half, but it's not the worst draw. I mean, you know, Kyrgios in a third round is never fun. FAA and Bublik could be tough, but Rublev's got a manageable draw, and I don't know if, like, you know, Bublik's got to prove that he can convert his form into slams. FAA and, and Kyrgios have to prove they're healthy enough to win, um, so Rublev might like his like his chances. Then the bottom part of the draw we've got, the number 14 seed, Musetti, he takes on Varalis. Winner of that will take on either Isna, the number, uh, or Munar in the second round. Then you got Choinsky taking on Lajevic. Winner of that will take on either Ramos Vinoles, 17 seed, Hercat, second round. Then you got the number 29 seed, Echeverri, taking on Morales. Winner of that will take on one of the best first round going around. Massive blockbuster between Rusevori and Vavrinka. That's an epic. Uh, then you've got Thompson taking on Nakashima. Winner of that takes on either Kashin. Two seed Novak Djokovic in the second round. And look, Djokovic fans, you're probably happy that he's number two now because you know the top section of the draw was a nightmare. Besides Vavrinka, you know, Stan and also maybe Nakashima or Thompson. But for Djokovic, most of those players are beatable. And of course, the winner of this section will take on the Rublev section, so we could be getting Djokovic versus Rublev in the quarterfinals. Or Djokovic Kyrgios, if we want to go by a, a rematch of last year's final. Or maybe even Rub uh, you know, Djokovic versus FAA if he has a run, but uh, could be interesting. Who's going to win Wimbledon? I mean, is it not Djokovic? I mean, I think Djokovic is more of a favorite now than he was before the draw, because his draw is looking very nice. Yes, yeah, Sinner put him under pressure last year, but is he going to get the chance to do it again? I think Sinner and Djokovic, the bottom half of the draw is more obvious, I guess. Top half is insane. I mean, how the how the heck are you going to guess the top half? Medvedev and Runa, maybe, but Alcaraz and Sitipas are going to have to work hard for it. But I'm going to go with Djokovic to win, obviously. I'm boring, and that's the easy pick for me. But uh, you tell me. Who do you think is going to win Wimbledon on the men's side this year for 2023? Is it going to be 24 for Djokovic, or is it going to be someone new? Or maybe someone old if you're going with Andy Murray. But, man, Novak Djokovic, got to be loving that draw.